The NDP slamming the Ford government's plan, calling it outrageous to use the notwithstanding clause. Ontario's NDP leader Peter Tabins joins us tonight. Mr. Tabins, we've heard from Minister Lecce that they are doing everything they can to keep kids in class. What do you make of the legislation to stop workers from striking? Well, this legislation is actually going to cause a lot of disruption in the education sector. Uh, we're seeing a situation now in the healthcare sector where people are leaving faster than they're being replaced. We're seeing disruption of emergency rooms. We expect to see the same in the education sector. If you actually bully and beat up those people who are looking after our children on a daily basis, you can expect them to leave. You can expect them to be demoralized. I think they're selling a bill of goods, frankly. There were a lot of heated exchanges during the debate that began at five this morning at Queen's Park. Obviously, the NDP is against invoking the notwithstanding clause and the legislation to stop a strike. What more can the NDP do to prevent the government from using the clause? Well, we're trying to speak to the public. We're trying to make sure that people know that this is bad for education. It's bad for their rights. It's bad for children in the years to come. And we hope that public pressure will have an impact on the Ford government. In the end, that's the thing that's going to be the most effective, if anything is effective with them. Listen, is the government's counter proposal a 10% pay increase over four years fair? It's more than the original offer, and we know other provinces are watching to see how the Ontario government handles this negotiation. They've gone through years now of zero increases or 1%. So they've seen their ability to pay their rent, pay their mortgages, put food on the table erode very heavily. They are in a very difficult spot. A lot of the people who work and look after our children have to rely on food banks to make sure they have food on the table. That makes no sense to me. Mr. Tabins, why is Lecce saying that this is for the kids and that he's standing up for their rights of the children? Well, I think that's his cover story, frankly. Uh, I, what else is he going to say? Uh, he's not going to tell you the truth. He's not going to say that what's coming forward is going to cause the problems in the education sector the way we're seeing problems in the healthcare sector. It's bad news for us. And frankly, he knows better and he should not be spreading those kind of stories around. Peter Tabins, Ontario's NDP leader, thank you for joining us tonight. It's a real pleasure. Thanks for having me on.